This is BBC World, the headlines. The U.S. is to announce fresh sanctions on Sudan over the ongoing conflict in Darfur. Will it be enough to the fighting between government-backed Arab Janjaweed militias and rebel groups? More than 30 people have been killed in bomb blasts in Baghdad and another six U.S. soldiers have been killed. The deaths come amid reports that five British citizens have been abducted by gunmen wearing police uniforms. A new report suggests more migrants from Eastern Europe than originally thought could be planning to make their home in the UK permanent. It says many planning a short stay change their minds once they find work in the country. A new Nigerian president sworn in, marking the first handover between two elected leaders in the country's history. But criticism continues as observers say the recent elections were not credible. Welcome back to World News Today. I'm George Alagaya. So let's stay with that new era for Nigeria. What do Nigerians themselves think of the change in power? Joining me now is Nigerian freelance journalist and author and internet blogger Nuara. Thank you very much uh, for, for being with us. Hi, uh, Thank you. I've just said it's, it's a historic occasion, one civilian president handing over to another, but Nigerians presumably want more the, the historic history and historical eras and so on, they want some, some action. That's correct, George. Uh, Nigerians at this point want tangible, they want specifics. Now, that has to do with uh, you know, the standard of living and the quality of life as a whole. Now, like you mentioned, we just had the inauguration of a new president today, and that didn't quite go the way Nigerians would have expected, which is what's causing all the outcry. But are, are they, are Nigerians, as you say, and, and, and many people, observers said, the elections weren't credible, but are Nigerians going to be willing to put that to one side and say, OK, we've got to give this man, Yaradua, a, a chance, or do you think it's something that's going to be with him for, for, for months, if not years? Well, I think it depends on the new man, Yaradua, you know, how, what's his plans, what's his agenda, what is he, he hasn't really told Nigerians anything, so to speak, so how willing is he to pull the house together, get position people together, get them on the table, talk about the issues. I think that may be, you know, what may actually go ahead to save the that's, that's extraordinary to mm. hear you say that. Mm. I mean, here is a man who's mm. been elected to mm. Africa's most populous nation, possibly its most important nation. Mm. The people who elected him apparently don't know what he stands for. I think when you say the word uh, elected, I mean, I, I will have to be a bit cautious there because Nigerians see that election as a selection process. So, and... Uh, I mean, he has to convince Nigerians actually that, you we're, know, we're looking at the new man there. Okay, yeah, that, actually, that, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. So, so he has to sele uh, yeah, selection. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the general you know, impression because, uh, you know, the international observers, when the journalists and, you know, people on the ground, they all report massive rigging. You know, there were lots of irregularities. Now, it's not something that we can weigh. So I, I don't think this thing should be swept under the carpet. So the new man, Yaradua, has to come on the table, invite all the opposition people, and then talk. And to be honest with you, I would advise him to actually think about forming a government of national unity rather than bringing only PDP people in, in, into okay, the government. Okay, let's leave those details aside. You talked about this being a, a selection that's correct. rather than an election. And, and that's the, 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 the worry, isn't it? Many that's people correct. think that the man who's still actually in power is going to be Olusegun Obasanjo, who's yeah. ruled the country for eight years. That that's, somehow he's going that's, to be I mean, the you could see the signs. Say, Yaradua reportedly has accepted to inherit you know, some of Obasanjo's henchmen. Now he's... You know, we understand that Obasanjo's former chief of staff is going to be his chief of staff as well. So that shows a kind of pattern of continuity. So it's actually, you know, Obasanjo still being in the controlling what happens in Yaradua's government. And that is not something Nigerians are willing to accept. Yes. Okay. Uchenuara, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Georgia.